Good morning, it's Monday. I trust that you had a wonderful weekend and an enjoyable Palm Sunday. Today we begin 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. I want to read the first um, two verses. Finally then, brethren, we request and exhort you in the Lord Jesus, that as you receive from us instruction as how you ought to walk and please God, just as you actually do walk, that you excel still more. For you know what commandments we gave you by the authority of our Lord Jesus. So Paul is here exhorting them as they have received instruction to live a life that is pleasing to God, to walk in the spirit, which they are doing. But he said, I exhort you and want you to excel even more, still more, that you excel still more, still more. You see, we should never be satisfied with where we are in our walk. We should never be satisfied to say, well, I've reached the pinnacle and now I can't go any further. No, you can always go further. You can always be more holy. You can always be more sanctified. You can always love more. There's always room for growth. And in fact, that's what we should be doing all the time is growing. Because a tree that is not growing is just a, just a stake in the ground. We need to be a tree that's growing and bearing fruit. So we strive to walk closer and I hopefully this time of Lent has been a time that's brought us to some self-reflection and seeing what things we need to change in our lives and what we can do to improve our walk to excel even more I love that word to excel to excel still more I'll be excellent in your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ David said let the words of my mouth the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight O Lord we want our lives to be more than acceptable, but to excel, to excel, to be the very best version of ourselves that we possibly can be. And this will be if we cling to the Lord Jesus Christ, if we stay true to his word, and if we stay with him. So our aim is to continue to grow. And Paul reminds them that he taught them the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ by his authority, uh, reminding them, he probably taught them the, the um, Sermon on the Mount, he probably taught them Jesus saying, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. The greatest commandment to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, strength and mind, to love our neighbors, ourselves and so forth. And Paul is reminding of that. And he's saying you actually are walking in the Lord, which is great. I'm pleased about that. But I want you to excel even more. He's like a great coach. He says, yeah, you're playing a great game, but you can do better. <laughs> and that's what we really uh, are striving to do. And that's one of the reasons we meet together every morning in prayer, as we do with these devotions. I'm trying to help all of us to excel even more in our walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We want to thank you again today for this day. We thank you, Lord, for the weekend that has now passed for Palm Sunday. As we are now in Holy Week, we pray, Lord, that you would help us to focus even more upon your tremendous love, your tremendous grace, how much you loved us, Lord, and how much you do love us. We thank you for that. We ask your blessing over this day. We pray for our parliament. We pray for our government. We pray for all in authority. We ask, Lord, that you give them wisdom and understanding. We pray, Lord, for those who are suffering under terrible regimes. We pray for those who are suffering in the Ukraine and in the um, Israel and in Palestine. Lord, we pray, have mercy. We pray for an end to hostilities. We pray for peace. Heavenly Father, we pray for the lost. We pray that those souls that do not know you would turn to you. We pray, Lord, for those who are suffering. We pray for the sick, the dying, the poor, the needy, the homeless, the helpless. Lord, have mercy. Those who have no hope, have mercy. Be with those, Lord, who mourn the death of a loved one, would you comfort them with the peace that only you can give? Heavenly Father, we pray for our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. We pray that you would protect them from the evil in this world and help our lives to be a living example to them. And whatever we do, Lord, help us to excel. Help us to be the best version of ourselves that we possibly can. And we know this will happen when we offer ourselves to you and continually offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. So we do that right now. And we pray that you help us not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds, to be able to prove what is the good, acceptable and perfect will of God. So, Father, we ask that you lead and guide us and hear us now as we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name.
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.